Hi everyone. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to actually um, get Sublime Text working because it's a question I've had a lot in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's actually pretty simple and you can use similar principles when downloading very similar programs. So first thing is if I just go to Sublime in Google and I go to the website, and I, you know, I click download, fairly standard stuff. You'll see here that this is where you, this is where it actually tells you how to download Sublime if you are like running your own Linux system. You kind of just put in a bunch of commands on command line. The problem is all of these require pseudo access, like system admin access, which you don't have on VLAB. So instead on VLAB, you can actually download a 64-bit tarball. Now that's a weird name, but basically it means you can download Sublime as like a little standalone package rather than something that has to be installed on the system. So I'm going to download this. Um, I'm going to save this file. I'll save it just here. Um, in my home directory. And now I'm going to have to extract that file because it's it's basically a zip file. So I'm going to, um, there's the file here, right? Ignore this one. Um, here's the file here, Sublime Text 3. I'm going to make a new folder called sub for Sublime. I'm going to open this. So this is kind of like a zip file and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this out here, right? Like that so that um, I've like unzipped it in a way. So now I've got this folder here called sub and inside of that is all the actual Sublime files. Now here's the thing, this is the actual program that runs. Like if you think back to your C programming, um, when you compile something with C, you get this kind of just general file, like a runnable file. That's actually what this is. So now, just from doing that, pretty straightforward steps, um, I can simply go to the subfolder go to sublime text 3 and then inside of that I can do dot slash sublime text just like I'm running a C program and it will open it up. Bam. Um, really really easy, really simple. Um, I, if I want to I could also do some tricky things which uh, you can go and learn more about how this works later but um, if I wanted to uh, I could you know, oops, that's weird. Uh, oh, H Smith. Yeah, if I wanted to, for instance, I could, um, I could actually create like a little shortcut to that, so that like, and um, again, you can look this up. But if I do this right, if I go get the actual binary file, I can actually link it. You can copy a command like this, just called Sublime. So now, whenever I open a terminal here, um, I can literally just type in dot Sublime. Oops, and oops. Oh no, oh I've named a file that's also a directory. That's not good. Um, that's why that's not working. I'll just call it <laughs> I've named everything. Um, let me just call it editor or something. You know I could do something like this whereby now whenever I just run editor it opens sublime. Um, this is called linking so like rather than copying and pasting this whole command here I can just type that. Um, but even if you don't type that, you can do what I do in lectures, which is like, you've probably seen me do it. I literally just type in like sublime, 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 and then I just run it. So this is assuming you don't want to use VS Code, but most students are using VS Code, so, you know, you'll probably want to go down that route.